Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the lead code question maximum width of a binary tree. So the question is pretty self-explanatory. We just need to find, given a binary tree, we need to find out what its maximum width is. So the only one thing that we need to look at is that we also need to consider the null nodes. So what that means is in this input of the binary tree over here, so we, our output is actually four because uh, the node with the value of 2 also has a left child which has a value of null. So we're considering 5, 3, null, and 9. So we have a total of 4. So similarly, if we look at this example, our answer for the maximum width is actually 8. Because over here, we need to consider that there are 6 other nodes all with the value of null. So basically what that means is uh, 3 has a right child node with the value of null, which also has two uh, children nodes. Similarly, 2 has a child uh, left child node with the value of null, which also has two children nodes with the value of null. So we have 6 and 7, and we have 6 other uh, nodes with the value of null. So now let's see how we can actually solve this question. So let's say we're given this binary tree. So what is our output actually going to be? So our output is actually going to be 1, 2. So we're going to consider a null a node over here, so 3, 4. So this is also going to have two null nodes. So we're going to add 5 and 6 and then 7 and 8. So our output is going to have a value of 8. So let's see how we can reach this value. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a breadth first approach. So what that means is we're going to move left to right. So uh, in other words, we're going to go by each, uh, we're going to traverse through each level. In order to solve this, we need to understand the idea of numbering our, of giving each of our nodes a position value. So what I mean by that is our topmost node, our root node, is going to have a value of zero. And what we're going to do is, so we're going to, it's going to i, we're going to have some value i. So in this case, it has a value of zero for the root. So its left node is going to have a value of 2 multiplied by i. Similarly, its right node is going to have a value of 2 multiplied by i plus 1. So let's see how that looks like uh, in our binary tree. Okay, so over here, uh, we have the root node with a value of 0. So 2 into 0 is 0. So this has a value of 0. So for the right node, we have 2 into 0 plus 1, which is 1. So now let's go back over here. So we have 2 into 0, 0. Now 2 into 0 plus 1, which is 1. So over here, it's 2 into 1. So this has a value of 2. So this is 2 into 1 plus 1, which is 3. Okay, so now over here, we have 2 into 0, which is 0. Then over here, again, we have 2 into 0 plus 1, which is 1. So over here, uh, we don't have any left node. We only have a right node. So we can just directly do 2 into 1 plus 1. So that's uh, 2 plus 1, which is 3. Uh, then over here, we have nothing. So we're just going to skip over that. And for this, we have 2 into 3, which is 6. And then we have 2 into 3 plus 1, which is 7. So now, how can, so how can we use these position values we gave to each of the nodes in order to find the width? We're going to be using this formula, which is we're going to take the maximum index, so the max index, whatever that is, and subtract that by the minimum index. Uh, make sure that we're finding the max index and the minimum index on the same level, and then we're going to add that to 1. So Let's just label our levels, so 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's say we want to find the width of the third level. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the maximum index. So that has a value of 3, so over here, 3. So we're going to take 3. Then we're going to take the minimum index, which is 0. So 3 minus 0 and then plus 1. So that equals to 4. So our third level has a length of 4. So similarly, let's find the length of our fourth level. So in our fourth level, our maximum index has a value of 7. So we're going to take 7. And the lowest is 0, minus 0, plus 1, which equals to 8. So our 
maximum length, so the length of our fourth level is eight. So finally, let's see how we can implement a queue in order to find out what the maximum actually is. We're now going to implement a queue in order to find what our maximum width actually is. So what we're going to do is we're first going to set our queue to have the value of the root. So we're actually going to put in a tuple value. Uh, so we're going to put in two values. So we're going to have the root and we're also going to have whatever the index is. So in this case, it has an index of zero. So that's what's going to be inside of our queue. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pop out the first element. So we're going to pop this out. And then once we pop it out, we're going to take the root and look to, to see if it has a left child. So in this case, it does have a left child. So then we're going to add it. So whatever the node is plus its index, so zero. So then we're going to add that to the queue. Now we're also going to see if it has a right child and it does. So the right child has a value of one. So we're going to add its node plus its index, which has a value of one. So we're going to keep going down and doing that. So now we're going to pop out a uh, node comma zero. So we look for its left index, which is zero. So then we get node comma zero. Then we also have its right index node comma one. Now after that, we're uh, going to pop this out and we're going to look for its left index. Uh, left child. So that's node, whatever that node is, comma two. And then you also have its right child, which is whatever that node is, comma three. So now we're going to keep going down. And each time we go down, we're going to find out what our maximum width is. So right. So in the beginning, our width is going to be one, then it's going to become two, then it's going to become four. And then over here, it's going to become eight. And once we reach the ending of our binary tree, we're going to exit out of our while loop since there's not going to, there's not going to be any more children underneath the final or last layer. And uh, in that case, we're going to just return the maximum uh, width value. So we're going to find the maximum of this, 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 and this. So which is obviously eight and we're going to return the value of eight. So I think this is a lot more easier to understand in code. So let's see how that looks like. So we're first going to start off by checking if our root actually has a value. So if root, so if the root doesn't have any value, we're just going to return the value zero. So after that, we're going to first initialize our queue. So I'm just going to call it queue and our queue is going to include the root and its index value, which starts off at zero. And we're also going to initialize a width. So our width is going to start off with the value of one, because by having just the node, you have a length of one. So our width is going to start off with one. Okay, so then we're going to go inside of our while loop. So while length of Q is not equal to zero. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check if the length of Q is greater than one. So in that case, we might have a width which is greater than one. So we're going to check. So we're going to make the new value of width, the whatever the maximum value is between the length between our Q and the width of one in the beginning. So right now, uh, so we're going to find out the max between the width and now we need to get the length of the current layer that we are on. So in order to get that length, uh, what we need to do is we need to take the maximum index and subtract that with the smallest index. So to get our maximum index, that's actually going to be our rightmost element. So our rightmost element is going to be the last element because we're adding elements from left to right. So we're going to take the last element and of the last element, we're going to take its index value. So because the index value is at the first location, first index. Okay. And then we're going to subtract that with the leftmost or the lowest uh, indexed value. So that's going to be the first element and we're going to take its index value and then we're going to add one to it. So now our width is going to get updated by the, with whatever the maximum width is. Okay. Now we're going to go inside of another while loop. So while the length, of Q is not equal to zero. 
So what we're going to do over here, we're going to pop off the first element. Over here, what we're going to do is we're going to pop out the first element. So node comma position equals to q dot pop zero. So we're going to pop out the zero with uh, the element at the zero with index. We're basically doing the step in order to find out what the elements are inside of our next level. So we're just going to create a temporary variable here. I'll just call it temp q and it's, we're going to initialize it as an empty list. So once we do that over here, we're going to check if the node, if node left. So what this does is it checks if the left node exists. And if it does exist, we're going to add that to our queue, to our temporary queue over here. So temp underscore queue dot append. And remember that we're adding two values. So first we're going to add the node. And then after that, we need to add its position value. So in this case, its position value is a position. And since it's the left node, wait one second. Okay, and since it's the left node, we're doing position multiplied by two. Now we're gonna repeat the same step for our right node. So if node dot right not equal to none. So we're checking if that node exists and if it does, we're going to add that to our temporary queue. And first we're going to add the node and then we're going to add its value, which is position multiplied by two plus one. We're going to be inside of this while loop until we pop out all of the elements inside of Q. And uh, once we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to set Q to the temporary queue. So now we change the value of Q so that it has the value of the of the level below it. So Q equals to temporary Q. And uh, finally, all we have to do right now is go, once we go outside of our while loop, we need to return the value of the width. So let's run this uh, and see what happens. So submit. All right, so our solution got accepted and Finally, do let me know if you have a better solution and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you.